What is going on guys, it's me, Farwild, and today we're doing our first objective game type on um, on my channel, and it is going to be uh, Sanctuary Neutral Bomb. So Neutral Bomb is basically, um, if you haven't played it, it is, uh, you've got to get the bomb from the centre to the opponent's base and then arm it, which takes about 5 seconds. Um, so, Shrine, a uh, remake of San uh, Sanctuary as you know. Um, what are the power positions on Sanctuary? Well, you want to control Ring 2 and Ring 3. Ring 2 is the central ring, as you just saw, I just walked through it. And Ring 3 is the little ledge above it. Um, so, it's vital you control those areas because of the amount of sight lines and cover you get. If you control the centre of the map, um, you're able to drop down. You can you can pretty much do whatever. This is actually a rather short gameplay, so I'm going to get through this a lot. Um, so yeah, upper upper ring, uh, lower ring. So upper ring is just up, up where I'm about to walk now. Um, so you jump up that little ledge. Um, so the spawns on objective are as follows. Um, so on sanctuary or shrine, you spawn at rocks, which is where I just sniped those players from. Uh, now, um, uh, flag, which is uh, the flag base where uh, you're trying to get the bomb to. And I think they spawn shotgun as well, which is basically underneath sniper where I am now. Um, so what you want to try and do is force the spawns. You want to try and um, so if I am standing at snipe, which I am quite close to now on snipe bridge, um, you want to force them to spawn rocks because rocks is very open. You have a couple of cover from the rocks, but when you got someone standing carbine, which is the opposite side to sh to the centre of the map, if you've got someone at carbine, if you've got someone at uh, ring two, and if you've got some or ring three, and you've got someone at snipe, and then you can have one roaming player, perhaps the b the bomb carrier, for example. Um, you, you've pretty much won because it's extremely difficult for the other team to get near you when you've got so many people covering fire. Also, as I was saying before the game starts, use that waterfall. If you shoot the bit inside, you get the waterfall. If you're if you're shoot if the enemy team are dead and they're spawning uh, like well not on their flag obviously not because you'll be there. If you drop the waterfall down, they will not be able to shoot through it, and therefore it gives you cover while you arm the bomb. Top tip there. Um, Ring 2 is obviously vital because of the, the sight lines and the cover as I said, also uh, rockets spawn um, Ring 1 so you want to be able to drop down as soon as those rockets spawn and, uh, and pick them up. Um, so uh, don't get, when you're trying to force the spawns don't get too close but also don't, uh, you want to stay within shooting range. Uh, so like here, this is a great position, look at the sight lines I've got. I know they're going to be spawning rocks because I'm on rock side as you can see there I've got hit markers on the player. And I'm just jumping, I just jumped around here and I managed to actually pick him off. And for the final bomb. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Um, this is very short, I know. We, I will do Team Slayer just with the server issues at the moment. It's getting increasingly uh, quite bad, quite hard to find games. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I'll be back next time. Probably some lockdown uh, blue team gameplay. Um, so hope you have enjoyed. Please understand the situation I'm in with the, um, uh, with the lack of the servers. Um... I will go over this in more detail in uh, probably Slayer. Anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a comment of what map we want to see next. Um, and just like my video up. It, it means the world. Um, so, yeah, just subscribe, Twitter and Twitch. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.